In this video, we'll learn about hematocrit. Hematocrit is a simple yet important measure of your blood's health. It tells us how much space in your blood is occupied by red blood cells. Hematocrit refers to the proportion of red blood cells in your blood. It is typically expressed as a percentage. For example, if your hematocrit level is 40%, it means that 40% of your blood volume is made up of red blood cells. Hematocrit plays a crucial role in maintaining good health. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a protein that carries oxygen to all parts of your body. By measuring hematocrit, healthcare professionals can evaluate your blood's ability to deliver oxygen effectively. Since red blood cells make up a significant portion of the blood's volume, hematocrit is often used as an indirect measure of the RBC count. A low hematocrit value typically indicates a decrease in the number of red blood cells in the blood. This condition is known as anemia. Anemia can be caused by various factors, such as nutritional deficiencies, chronic diseases, blood loss, or underlying medical conditions that affect the production or a lifespan of red blood cells. It is important to note that a low hematocrit level is often associated with a decrease in RBC count and anemia. Other factors can also influence hematocrit levels. For example, if there is an increase in plasma volume, the liquid component of blood, it can dilute the concentration of red blood cells and result in a lower hematocrit value. To accurately diagnose and understand the underlying cause of a low hematocrit value, additional tests and evaluations, such as a complete blood count CBC, may be necessary. These tests provide more detailed information about the various components of blood, including RBC count, hemoglobin levels, and other parameters. Normal hematocrit levels. Hematocrit levels can vary depending on factors such as age, sex, and overall health. In general, a normal hematocrit range for adult males is between 40% and 54%, while for adult females, it is typically between 36% and 48%. The hematocrit level for newborns is typically higher, ranging from 45% to 65%. Hematocrit levels for infants ranging from one month to two years usually range from 28% to 42%. In children from age 2 through adolescence, hematocrit levels gradually decrease and tend to be slightly lower than in adults. The normal range is usually between 32% and 42%. It's important to note that these ranges may vary slightly depending on the laboratory and the specific age group being considered. Causes of high hematocrit. An elevated hematocrit level, known as polycythemia, can have several causes, including dehydration. When you are not adequately hydrated, your blood can become more concentrated with red blood cells, leading to a higher hematocrit level. Lung or heart diseases, certain conditions can stimulate your body to produce more red blood cells, resulting in an increased hematocrit level. Blood disorders. Conditions like polycythemia vera, a rare blood disorder, can cause an abnormal increase in red blood cell production. Causes of low hematocrit. A decreased hematocrit level, known as anemia, can be caused by iron deficiency. Insufficient iron in the body can lead to a decreased production of red blood cells, resulting in a lower hematocrit level. Vitamin deficiencies. Lack of essential vitamins like vitamin B12 or folate can impair red blood cell production and lead to anemia. Chronic diseases. Certain chronic conditions, such as kidney disease or autoimmune disorders, can affect the production or lifespan of red blood cells, causing a decrease in hematocrit levels. Abnormal hematocrit levels can cause various symptoms. In the case of high hematocrit, the symptoms are fatigue, shortness of breath, dizziness, frequent headaches, difficulty concentrating, and increased risk of blood clots. Low hematocrit include symptoms like fatigue, pale skin and nail beds, rapid or irregular heart rate, shortness of breath, cold hands and feet, 
and cognitive difficulties. Treatment for abnormal hematocrit levels depends on the underlying cause. For high hematocrit, the treatment approach is treating the underlying condition, ensuring proper hydration and therapeutic phlebotomy, removable of blood, to lower the hematocrit levels. For low hematocrit, the approach is treating the underlying cause, such as iron or vitamin deficiencies, managing chronic diseases, and in severe cases, blood transfusions or medications to stimulate red blood cell production. Maintaining a healthy hematocrit level is crucial for overall well-being. Regular checkups and discussions with healthcare professionals can help monitor your hematocrit levels and ensure appropriate treatment if any abnormalities are detected. Remember, a healthy hematocrit level supports optimal oxygen delivery to your body's tissues, keeping you energetic and functioning at your best.